Hello and welcome to a slightly better tutorial for Hearts of Iron 3. In this episode, we will be covering the production aspect of the game. We will learn how to produce units and how to place them on the map. Okay, first, let's click the production button up here in the top of the screen. First off, let's look at the production queue. Here we can see everything that is currently being produced. If it's green, it means it's going at full speed. Yellow means that it's going at 50% speed. And red is that it's completely stopped. Up here we can see different units we can build. We can go into building a division, which is for the army. We can build air wings for the air force. Or a flotilla for the navy. Let's go into a division. Here we can see all the different brigades that we can produce. Remember I'm using the, the Finest Hour version of the game. The Finest Hour expansion of the game rather. So some units might not be present in the version that you are playing. But I guarantee you infantry will always be there. If you want to create an infantry division, click on the infantry unit right here. You will see it pops up in the division window right here which displays what brigades will be within it. Now if we wanted to just create one brigade we would go back and press brigade attachment but since we want a division we need at least two brigades in this unit. There. Now suddenly the start production button isn't grayed out anymore. So let's click start production. You can see that now our infantry division has been placed in the production queue. It is estimated to be finished at April 24th. Okay, let's skip ahead to when it's finished and we'll place it on the ground. As you can see in the top left of the screen, we have new units to be deployed. This is in the news feed, you can call it. All the important events will come up here. So we can press this deploy button and here we can see our infantry division. You press it and then one of the zones in your country. You can only do this in your native country, you cannot place it. For example, if you are Great Britain, you can only place troops on Great Britain. You cannot place it in India or North Africa, for example. There. Now our unit is deployed. Okay, in one of the last videos we spoke about industrial capacity. Now, here to the right you can see an industrial capacity box where you have different sliders. This is how we disperse our industrial capacity and what we should focus on. Here you can see the demand. For example, you can see upgrades needs 41 industrial capacity points. This will lower uh, in time since our units begin to get upgraded. Reinforcements will start to go up when you lose men in combat. Supplies, well, you don't really need to have a huge supply backup, but it's always good since then you can uh, focus more on production. Production, right now we don't have anything in the queue, therefore it needs zero, but we still locate, um, located 37 industrial capacity points for production. Consumer goods is something that, well, it's all the things that just normal people would need what the state is producing for them. Now if you have less than needed of consumer goods, descent, which is this flame up here, will start to go up. That will decrease your industrial capacity since workers go on strike and and well people are just unhappy overall so consumer goods must always be at least on the required level so let's press this need button and the slider will go there and it will lock in place now if you don't feel like uh, pulling the sliders to the side you know measuring everything you can always press here to the side Right now you can see it prioritizes production. 
it will adjust itself to sudden demands of supplies, reinforcements, upgrades or consumer goods. As you can see now, we have 130 IC lo the, located for production. Let's go into Air Wing. Okay, let's select Interceptor. Here, in the green box right here, we can see how much industrial capacity this will take up, how much manpower it will cost, and how long it will take to produce it. Now the IC cost won't mean that it reduces your IC by 14, it will simply mean that during 144 days it will take up 14 of your industrial points. The more planes you build, the more are practical our practical points of that category will go up. For example, interceptors or light aircraft. This will reduce the cost and build time greatly if you build enough of them. Okay, let's produce one wing of Messerschmitt BF109D. Okay, as you can see, it is in our production queue. Let's skip ahead until it's finished. Okay, as you can see, the icon for deployable units are uh, are showing once again. So we can click it. Here we can see our interceptor wing. Click that. Now, with airplanes, you can only deploy them where there is an aircraft base. Right now, you can see we have quite a few to choose from. Everything that is highlighted with green is where you can deploy them. Let's choose... Rostock. Now, you can see it has been placed on this airfield. Okay, let's go into naval production or the flotilla. Here you can build all the different ships you might need. In a later video we will go over which one is good for what purpose, but for now let's just select a light cruiser. Again, here you can see the IC cost and the manpower cost. The build time is 358 days. Let's put one of these in the production queue. Here you can see it. December 29th. I'll see you in a short while. Okay, so you can see we have deployable units once again. Let's press that. Now we have the Stuttgart light cruiser available for deployment. If we click that. Now we can see all the zones with a port is highlighted. Any one of these we can deploy him in. So let's put him in Rostock as well. Now to select that unit, press the port. Or drag a square over the port. Okay, so there's more to build in produ production rather than just wings, divisions of flotillas. You can also build industrial capacity, anti-aircraft guns, radar stations, nuclear reactors, rocket test sites, convoys and escorts. We can even build par partisans or revolutionaries in other countries if we wish so, but that's for another video. Industrial capacity, it's what it sounds like. We build more factories. This takes a long time and takes up a big chunk of the IC. I do not recommend using this unless you have a long time span ahead of you. For example, if you are the United States, you can do this since you have almost five years before the war begins. Anti-aircraft guns, something that you would place where you have a lot of industry, something that needs a lot of protection. Or you would place it in the front. A radar station basically shows all the u enemy units in the area of it. If you build several of these in one zone, it will become more effective. Nuclear reactor is something that allows you to research for an atom bomb. This is quite far into the game and will require a great deal of research to be able to build. Rocket test site will allow you to build V2 and V1 rockets, a flying bomb. Convoys is what allows you to transport your um, your resources and the things you sell to other countries. 
an escort will escort them and protect them from some marines. Down here you can see how many convoys and escorts you have. Now remember by default the AI controls this and I would not recommend digging into this before you have a good overview in the game and some experience. Okay, so let's say we want to place an anti-aircraft gun. Well, can, we can either build it here and it will be placed in the production queue. That way when it's finished we will deploy it in the zone of our liking. However, we can also close this down press a zone we would like to build an aircraft gun in, like comb, and then press the anti-aircraft gun icon right here. Then you can see a grey square, a grey rectangular shape here. It's starting to fill out the, up the meter. We can do this about 10 times, and you can see for every click, more is added. Now remember, you this is a serial production, which basically means when this one is done, the next one will start to, to get built. So if you want to do it fast, simply build your desired number of these, and then you can deploy them all at the same time. But if you want a steady improvement of a zone, this is the way to go. Okay. And as always, you can always put this away, so you can t turn this into AI control, or you can even put the de deployment to AI control. Which brings us over to theaters. Now theaters is basically the different parts of your armed forces, you know, like the east front and the west front. They will start demanding units. Now you don't have to listen to them, it's simply a recommendation of where you should place them. It will simply pop up here, you know, um, like the thea West Western Front requires 10 tank brigades. You don't have to place them there, it's just the AI giving you some advice. Okay guys, that's it for this video. The next one will be about technology. I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time.